Koto, thank you very much for speaking to us here on Game On. We've been trying to track you down for quite a while. So we're finally happy that we got you on the show. And of course, you're back in training after a th three week break. What a fantastic season you've had. Probably the best so far. Yes, yeah, so far uh, it's, been, it's been one of my best seasons. Uh, I think the best season I've had was 2009. Mm -hmm. And, but this has been awesome. This has been awesome. The fact that I also got a medal at the World Cup. Uh, never mind the, the Commonwealth game, but the World Cup because I missed it 2010 because of injuries. So it's, it's been a great season. Cool, so let's start right from the beginning. Um, w when did you know that you were going to be an athlete and, and how did you just come to love the sport? Everything actually started way back when I was still in primary school in, back in Heidelberg. I went to Heidelberg Primary School. I was doing everything. The cross country, the short put, the 100 meters, 80 meters back then. Um, soccer, cricket, you know. But my main focus then was actually high jump. Let's go back to the Commonwealth Games. Of course, there was somewhat of a comeback for you. Was it quite difficult getting back into action after injury, after struggling to find your form? Yeah, it was, uh, it was difficult to come back and, and be on top. Uh, the last time I was on top was 2009. 2010 or so and so, uh, I got a medal indoors, silver medal indoors 2010. 2011 terrible, 2012 terrible. In fact, 2011, I didn't even make it to the finals at, 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 at Daegu in Japan for the World Championship. I was kicked out of the semis. And then 2012, I managed to make it into the finals at the Olympic Games, but still no medal. 2013, I was seventh in the final in Moscow, Russia at the World Championship. So the past four years was actually just going down. And uh, I remember at some point I wanted to actually just hang my spikes, but when I changed coaches, I, w I started working with Emery. Uh, we decided we're gonna give it another shot. We don't wanna have a premature uh, uh, retirement. And, and we did, and we stayed positive and, and we had a great season. What, apart from the coach, what changed in you going into 2014? Going to 2014, I think uh, I was much, much more uh, hungry to come back. And uh, the fact that I picked up the triple jump, I mean, after nine years of, of competing with the triple jump, I felt that I have new passion again. You know, uh, I wanted to put long jump in the background and just have something that's making me feel young again. And triple jump did exactly that. And uh, Working in a group, I mean, I'm training with Emery's group. Those guys are young, you know, they keep me going. Uh, it's always a challenge to train with them. So it's, 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 it's great, it's great stuff. That, that's exactly what changed. How have you adapted your style and your training to accommodate triple jump as opposed to long jump? Um, they actually complement each other. So long jump and triple jump, they, they work hand in hand. But obviously, triple jump much, much harder than the long jump. Uh, I like it because I think I'm also talented in that and I think uh, I'm able to work hard to, to, uh, to improve that. I've always liked it. I've only, I stopped doing triple jump in the past because of, of, of the injuries. Uh, but that's all gone. I mean, I'm a much more mature athlete. And with the triple jump, the more mature you are, the better you start, start competing. Let's just talk about the national record. It was your own record. What went right on that day? Uh, actually, I was also surprised because it was it's end of the season. It's a, it's a last meeting. Uh, supposed to be going down, you know, but actually I was going, I was still rising and, 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 and still peaking till the last competition and uh, for me it was an awesome feeling, you know, I think the fact that I wanted uh, to get a medal at, at the World Cup, so I just kept fighting every round. Do you remember what was going through your mind? At that time, what went through my mind is I'm not going home without a medal and the fact that I knew that I could jump at least 17-0, but when, 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 when my first attempt was 17-1-3, I knew that, okay, I can actually break the record, so I went for it and I, and I took the chance, I took the chance. What would you say is your career highlight so far? Definitely Commonwealth Games and breaking my national record at the, at the, uh, at, at the World Cup in, in, in Morocco mm -hmm. and also 2008 silver medal. Definitely. What are your aspirations for the upcoming season and what do you still want to achieve in your career? Yeah, my aspirations for the next coming seasons, we've got uh, next year, actually 2015, we've got the World Champs in, in Beijing. 
we're going back to the bird's nest where I got a silver medal in 2008 Beijing. So a lot of great memories there. So I'm hoping to get a medal there as well and also going into 2016 Olympic Games. That will be so special. It's a little bit of a home ground advantage. Yes, you, actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the stadium. I've competed there twice. 2008 Olympic Games, 2011 also. So I, I like the stadium. We have uh, a transformation agenda that the Minister of Sport has put into place. How do we get athletics, um, of course, long jump, triple jump, into townships? How do we get kids uh, taking an interest in the sport and obviously representing us on the South African stage? I mean, that's that's very important for the future. Yeah, of course, development, especially in uh, in communities, is quite is quite important. I think everything has to start at school. Mm. You know. Uh, it doesn't really help if it starts at clubs, but everything has to start at school and then just gradually go up there. I mean, that, that, that's how it started with, with, with my career. You know, it started at school and being taken from there to another level. A lot of kids in where your mom stays in Heidelberg, do they come and say, oh, it's Hotsu Mokwena, I mean, we'd like to take after you. What is your advice to kids wanting to get into triple or long jump or even any athletic sport? Yeah, my advice is, uh, they should always be persistent and, 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 and never give up on their dreams. Uh, obviously, achieving your dreams comes with working hard. So they, all, they always must stay persistent and stay working hard at the track every day.